you for introduction, Dan, and hello, everybody. My name's David Grundy, and I'm one of the directors of Organic Heat Exchanges, and we've developed a new form of thermal energy storage called Energy Vault that I want to talk to you about today. Uh, but perhaps before starting on what Energy Vault is, I wanted to address the issues, the problems uh, that we're solving. Uh, and our battery works with industrial refrigeration systems, and everybody knows that globally there's a huge increased demand for industrial refrigeration, energy prices are rising, global warming is kicking in, and this is putting huge pressures on industrial refrigeration. Most industrial refrigeration systems are actually very inefficient, uh, they're inflexible, they're quite expensive to run, they're quite carbon intensive. So really those things together means there's a need to provide far better storage solutions for industrial refrigeration, and that's what we've got, Energy Vault. Everybody understands what, what batteries are, uh, and we're a battery. Most batteries are, are electrical, whereby they charge up using electricity and they discharge electricity. We operate in a very similar way, but we store cold energy rather than electrical energy, and we store that as ice. Now, using ice as a form of cold energy storage is nothing new. It's been around for a long, long time, but we do it in a very different way that nobody else in the world can do and we store it as binary ice. Binary ice is very simply very tiny ice crystals embedded in the parent fluid, which happens to be glycol. The ice crystals are about a tenth of a millimetre in diameter, and therefore we have massive surface area that we can discharge. If you imagine your ice cube in your gin and tonic, the ice cube's still there by the time you finish your drink. But with our ice slurry or binary ice, uh, it can melt very, very quickly, and that gives us superb flexibility on discharge. Energy Vault is modular and it's scalable. It comes in one megawatt hour storage per unit uh, and it can connect to on-site renewables. But at the end of the day, it's a battery and it does what every other battery does. It allows you to disconnect your supply of incoming electricity from your demand for energy. And that's what we can do. So how does Energy Vault add value? Uh, there are various ways. Uh, it's a very flexible system and these different ways of adding value can actually be integrated. It's not a one or the other. Uh, first of all, we can help you save costs. Uh, it's a flexible energy management system. You can charge up energy vault overnight using cheap electricity and discharge it during the day when electricity prices are higher. Um, the reduced carbon emissions, actually, this is quite fundamental to IETF grants. Uh, because we are storing either uh, on-site uh, generated electricity or low carbon intensive electricity from the grid, we then can add to your move towards net zero. And that's what IETF is trying to support. Business resilience is actually very critical for a lot of our customers. What happens if your cooling demand uh, exceeds your supply? For example, if it's very hot. Uh, what happens if one of your chiller systems fails or needs repair. So with having Energy Vault there as battery backup, you basically have a power or a source of cooling power that's there if your chillers aren't working. Uh, and we also can add to scalability. So if your demand for cooling is increasing uh, and you need more cooling power at say peak times of the day, then rather than investing in new big chillers that may be very inefficient on operating fully, you can actually use Energy Vault get all the benefits of Energy Vault from load shifting, et cetera, and not have to expend on, on big new chillers. Uh, we have got a demonstration unit uh, up at Quotient Sciences, which is a pharmaceutical business up in uh, Northumberland. Uh, this has now been running for over a year. Uh, it's worked fantastically. Uh, Quotient Sciences love it. Uh, and actually they have said to us, looking back at some of the values that last summer, had they not had Energy Vault on site, they would have had to shut down production. So it is as important as that. So that's broadly the end of my presentation. Uh, very quick run through of what Energy Vault is. But in essence, it's a battery that allows you to store cold energy for when you need it most. Mm -hmm.